The big news is that DCR DEX version 1, now rebranded to Bison Wallet, is releasing on Tuesday, September 3rd. I've been using it over the past month and I have to say it is incredible, with so many features. We now have atomic swaps on Tether and USDC on layer 2 networks like Polygon, which means super low fees, low lot sizes, and fast confirmations. This is a game changer for Decred and all the layer 1 cryptocurrencies supported on Bison Wallet, such as Zcash, Digibyte, Vero, and more. So let's dive into the news update. I am privileged to say I conducted possibly the first ever DCR to USDT swap on mainnet, and it was flawless. And I only paid one cent in fees. This is the version of DCR DEX Decred holders have been waiting for. Finally, we have low lot sizes, stablecoin swaps with virtually no fees, built-in market maker and arbitrage bots, built-in mixing, and a wallet page redesign. It all looks beautiful and resembles your typical order book trading experience found on centralized exchanges, but of course, with Bison Wallet, you are always in control of your funds. You can send and receive as you like. There is no intrusive KYC and no fees. This is a wallet running on your own hardware that allows for direct peer-to-peer -peer asset exchange. Pure proof that Decred is building out the ultimate censorship-resistant infrastructure. A big part of whether Bison Wallet will be successful is liquidity. If users show up and there's plenty of liquidity and active orders to trade, they will stick around. For that reason, it's important that different communities involved in Bison Wallet allocate funding for market makers to ensure there's plenty of buy and sell orders for their coin. The good news is running a market maker bot is extremely easy. With just a few clicks in the GUI, I can configure a bot and make a market. It even tracks all the profit, loss, and fees I will incur. DEX version 1 now also allows for privacy mixing right in the wallet and for users to stake their Decred to earn rewards, and grants them voting rights on the protocol. There has been some discussion on Matrix on how to bring more value to Decred from the DEX version 1, so if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. All in all, this is a massive release for not just the Decred community, but the crypto community in general. Now let's take a look at some of the final Bison Wallet updates that were merged on GitHub. For users who access the DEX via Decrediton, DCR DEX branding will still be used. Dependencies were updated for Bitcoin and Litecoin. A user onboarding game was implemented. It's a geolocation game where users publish the GPS coordinates to hidden caches placed in the real world that contain a code redeemable for DCR and a prepaid bond. So basically you can hide prepaid bonds with some DCR somewhere in your city, post the coordinates online, and someone can recover this to use for the DEX. There were also fixes to the basic market maker. Existing orders are now cancelled when starting the market maker bot to prevent any errors, fix the Polygon Coin Explorer, and other general fixes and tweaks for the version 1 release. Work is still ongoing for Monero integration, with a basic simnet for Monero swaps being implemented. There is a possibility that developers utilize the Monero CCS platform for funding for the next phases of XMR integration into Bison Wallet. As the Monero community has shown itself eager to fund the development of peer-to-peer -peer trading platforms that grant users sovereignty away from centralized exchanges. And I imagine they would love to see XMR swaps with stablecoins, which is an excellent experience on Bison Wallet. Now let's look at general Decred developments. Looking at DCRD, Decred's full node, the coin mixing module documentation has been updated. There's a new Blake 256 redesign for improved optimization. While Decred uses Blake 3 for proof of work mining, every single signature, transaction, script, address, and a few other things are still using Blake 256. The field inverse calculation was optimized. This calculation is primarily involved when converting back to affinite space, which is done for various things such as calculating public keys, public key recovery from a compact signature, Schnorr signing and signature verification, and more. There were also a number of other optimizations, tweaks, and other improvements to DCRD. I strongly recommend those with the right technical skills and understanding to check out this GitHub repo. DCRD might be the most optimized full node in crypto. DCRD version 2.0.4 is here, as a patch release includes the following changes. Improved session formation for stake shuffle mixed transactions, support for internationalized domain names and host names, and stake shuffle mixing performance enhancements. There should be a Decrediton version out soon, so keep an eye out for that. DCR Pool 2.0 has been released. 
This is a new major version of DCR Pool, which has been updated to use the new Blake 3 mining algorithm and removes support for ASIC miners. Some improvements include CPU miner updated to support Blake 3 mining, the git hash is now included in application versions where possible, improved shutdown signal handling for Windows and Unix platforms, payment IDs are now generated with some randomness to prevent collusions, and GoMiner 2.0 added as a supported client. There were also a number of bug fixes and other tweaks to improve the software. Bison Relay, Decrypt's communication platform running on Lightning, has had more development work and continues to be improved. Tooltips are being added to avatars, fixed avatar issues, fixes to posting issues, group chat fixes, added a cancel download option, added subscribe to all post command. There's also ongoing work to paste in images and a possibility of adding sending and receiving read receipts. Decred is coming to Cake Wallet. While this integration has taken longer than expected, the good news is they've ironed out more bugs, made optimizations, and added buy and sell on ramps as part of the integration. In looking at network stats, over 10 million Decred is now being staked. Combine that with the funds being held in the treasury, and it means nearly 70% of all Decred in existence is not for sale. Now think about that. The release of Bison Wallet and the predicted bull run in late 2024 or early 2025, and imagine how high Decred could potentially go. Now looking at Politea, Decred's proposal platform, the Cypherpunk Times proposal was rejected with 31.6% approval and nearly 9,000 votes cast, making for a 22% turnout. However, despite the rejection, Phoenix Green says the Cypherpunk Times website will continue to be maintained going forward for a set period of time, so you can still read all the articles if you wish. The Keystone Hardware Wallet Support Proposal from Joe Gruff requests $90,000 to add Decred to the upcoming Keystone Hardware Wallet. Joe says Keystone recently added XMR and is starting to take off, and that it would be good to get in on the ground floor. This work will require adding QR code reading support to the CryptoPower mobile wallet, as Keystone does not yet feature USB support, though it will in the future. Keystone support is also coming to Cake Wallet, so this would be a nice feature to have once Decred launches on Cake Wallet. If you have any comments, please leave them at proposals.decred.org. Phoenix Green has created a new weekly live stream focused on onboarding new users to Decred software, while also showcasing Decred's tech stack. You can check the weekly stream called Decred Today on the Cypherpunk Times channel. He does tip people who join in on Bison Relay. He also had a great video promo of Decred's privacy. For the last 10 years, Decred has worked to build tools that bring sovereignty and privacy back to individuals. One of the latest iterations of these tools includes a fully peer-to-peer -peer mechanism for financial privacy that doesn't require centralized servers, intermediaries, or rent-seeking middlemen. Transaction privacy is now in the hands of all Decred users. Decred's privacy mixing stake shuffle runs directly in the user's wallet and communicates with the anonymity set by maintaining its own mixing communications. This process, as of Decred 2, is now fully decentralized and as said previously, there's no centralized service facilitating this process. Your Decred wallet connects independently to other peers that are conducting privacy transactions. Coordinating, communicating, and messaging is all maintained directly with the peers. The anonymity set for these transactions is incredibly high, approximately 60% of the coin supply. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Bison Wallet and be a part of the decentralized revolution.